Ahoy, salty dogs! Lens Cap here. I am Lens Cap. He is me. I am he. Uh, whatever. <laughs> That's me. Uh, we're still Dave today. We're playing Star Maid. This is episode number 20. Let's roll. Okay, so what have I done between the two episodes? Uh, let me start by saying, first of all, uh, I apologize uh, to you, my dear faithful viewers, as I have missed an episode uh, on Friday. I just was caught up with work or was getting caught up at work and missed uh, missed the day that day, and I apologize for that. I would also like to say that my work schedule has changed on me, and for the next two weeks my, uh, my uploads are going to be a little bit more sporadic, um, but I'm going to try and still stick with uh, three to four Star Made episodes every week. Um, I'm going to work on that and see if I can't stay consistent there. Alright, so that said, uh, let's move on with today's episode. We're uh, all the fourth wall stuff out of the way. Let's move on. Um, I have been working a little bit on the asteroid. You can't really see much of a difference from the outside. Um, but uh, mostly what I did was check out this door, dude. Isn't that cool? I wouldn't expect a pirate hanger to look any different. Ha <laughs> Yar har ha or something. Okay, uh, I got this cool flashing light out front. Uh, I think it looks pretty good on the stick like that. Whatever. That works okay. Not too bad. If we go into the hangar... Yeah, I got some running lights going on down in the base of the hangar here. Uh, I think the last time you guys saw it, there wasn't, there weren't any lights at all. I'm zoomed out or something? There we go. That's better. Um, so I've done that. Uh, we've got our door. We've got our running lights, our landing lights. Uh, something is going on weird with with this I'm not sure the controls are strange okay anyway we've got a hallway here as well seems like I'm not quite there we go oh, that felt better that felt right okay uh, so now <laughs> we got a hallway going on here the hallway has access to each of the three hangar bays they are separate that way you don't have to walk out into the middle of the hangar or across it or anything uh, to access like an elevator um, on the way up into the rest of the station, um, you know, in case somebody else comes into the hangar bay right behind you, you won't get splatted by <laughs> by a ship or something. Uh, this one isn't finished, but it's basically just going to be a straight up elevator. Um, that and that's it. That's all I got so far. So there the hall. There's the hallway. This one is mildly decorated. Uh, let me see if I have any colored. Brown is the only armor I have on my person. What does this ice look like, I wonder? Uh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. What if we did this as... Oh, man, it's kind of like translucent. Okay, I like this ice. How do we feel about the ice along the edge of the hallway? Mmm... Yeah, I don't know about that. I'm not quite sure about that decision just yet. But I like the ice. Uh, that's pretty cool. We'll have to incorporate that somewhere else. Um, but I need some kind of uh, stuff going on here. Anyway, uh, I like that the rock is exposed at the top. You get some lights there. Um, I might put lights in the bottom, but it seems this hallway is well enough illuminated, so I don't necessarily need that. Um, we do need to find a place where there's room for an elevator to go up. Uh, you know, because we, we got to be able to get from here to the next part of the base, which is going to be, given, like, the area of this asteroid that we have available to us, uh, I don't, I've been filling in these kind of open spots as I find them, so that's what I've been working on, kind of, you know, filling out the, uh, the bay, working on the hangar bays, making sure they look all cool and useful and and everything, and then just filling in kind of these empty areas as I find them. Um, so that we don't have, you know, maximize our space uh, to use for various station uh, systems. Okay, enough of that. Um, speaking of station systems, I still need to put in power somewhere. I'm not sure where I want to do that. I can't decide if I want a reactor room or if I'm just going to kind of scatter it out throughout the station. Like, here's a spot we could maybe put some power. And underneath, we definitely could. Here's the logic for the flashing lights. Uh, it's pretty simple. I just made a, made a really easy clock. 
And then uh, I wanted them to be off most of the time with a flash that kind of trails the whole way. And I feel like I accomplished that pretty well. Um, and the way I did that was I made uh, I made a simple clock that I found in a Bench video. And I think Bench is one of the, de the developers of the game. Uh, but anyway, I took the knot on the end of that and linked it to a flip-flop. And then I made an and so that the, um, the and is activated when the flip-flop and the knot are both on. Um, and then link those into delays, one for each of the uh, uh, kind of the lights. Um, I could make further delays, but when this delay is off, then this one turns on, so there's no sense in having more than four um, because it just kind of repeats. And so uh, kind of kind of save as many blocks as I can there. I just I just left it at four. Um, you could potentially do this backwards if you wanted to and have the lights on most of the time with an off one that blinks by just putting a knot uh, in front of the delays. And that would be a cool effect as well. Um, I did experiment with that some too, but I liked, uh, I liked the look of the one light running since I have enough light in the, uh, in the docking bay for it to not matter. Uh-oh. I, uh... Uh... <laughs> Didn't, uh, I didn't consider there might be pirates. Uh, I have no defenses. Hmm. This is, uh, this is a pretty rough situation. I don't have a combat ship here. We're gonna have to find a way out of this. Um, as soon as I exit build mode, they're gonna start shooting at me, I'm sure. So what do we do? Ah, there are three pirates. There's... That guy's a bee drone, I think. One of my hornet drones. And then two uh, Isanth. Isanth? I'm not sure how. Type 0 and uh, type 6, I guess. Okay, so here's, uh, here's the plan, I guess. Let's hop out of build mode and try and get in the mining rig as quickly as possible. It's got some shields. And maybe we can get away at least lure them away from the space station. Uh, I know I have plans if I can get outside of their combat range. I have the plans for the uh, the phalanx. Yeah, I wanted to fight some pirates anyway, so let's uh, let's do that. Let's try and get... Okay, here's what, here we go. Here we go. We're going to do this. Ready? R. Oh, they're going to start shooting at me any second. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, they're turning. Come on, come on, don't die. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get in. Okay, I'm in. Let's roll. Oh, my jump drive is charged, too. Nice. <laughs> I was ready. Those pirates didn't have nothing on me, man. They weren't even expecting it at all. Oh, what? Is that a pirate station? It's in a pirate station alpha. Uh, let's jam the radar real good. Okay, anyway, where are we? Okay, we're here. We need to be here. We're here. Here, at Cartagena. Uh, let's set a waypoint there. Oh, that didn't sound good. Oh no, that wasn't good. Oh no, now we're missing bits. Oh, we're missing a lot of bits. Oh, we gotta get out of here. Whoa, controls! Whoa! Okay, we gotta get out of here. Let's start charging the jump drive. Uh, <laughs> as we head back to our own, at least our own system. Oh crap. Okay, so we need to build the uh, we need to build the phalanx. I've got the parts on me for it. Take out the pirates at our base. Man, all of my loot is in this ship. The system is owned by your own faction. Okay. Once we've got our jump drive charged, let's see. We're we're 14 kilometers away. Let's look at which uh, which sector we're in. Okay, we're directly beneath this station. We can remember that. 
We should be safe here. Let's hop out. Let's see if we can't find that station. Nope, too far away. Okay. Uh, let's assess damage really quick. We got hit by a missile, it looks like. It didn't do too much. Just took out some cannons. All right. Fortunately, fortunately, um, I had all my blocks with me uh, on the mining vessel, and none of them were destroyed by that pirate station. So, um, so that's definitely good. Let's hop in the phalanx, and uh, that we were able to build. So that's great too. Let's hop in this bad boy. Oh, we need to activate this. Okay, and let's see. Where are my cameras at? Okay, yeah, this is my combat camera. I've got my guns and my missiles, good. Okay, let's head back home. Hopefully we can take out all three of these pirates. Okay, here we are, back home in the phalanx. You know, I'm glad this happened, actually. Uh, uh, but the pirates appear to be gone. So that's kind of disappointing, but I am glad this happened. I did want to, I did need an excuse to get the phalanx out of storage. Um, it just was kind of in part sitting in the garage, I guess, so to speak. So I'm glad we were, we were able to put that back together. That's awesome. Um, I do want, I did kind of want to get some combat going, but here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to park the phalanx. Let's see. Um, near the space station? Whoa, we're in a spin. Okay, hold on. Let's, <laughs> let's try this one more time. Where are we oriented? Okay, I see. So here's our thing. Where's our uh, build block? I'm going to put the phalanx so it's easily accessible by the build block in case the pirates come back. Okay, eventually we'll figure this out. So I think we need to be about right here. Let's turn and face this way. Okay, now we can check our docking camera. For the build block, there it is. We can go a little bit further this way and back. There we go, that's perfect. So now, okay, so now there's that. And now we have a means uh, of defense, <laughs> uh, if you will. So that's good. Um, let's hop in this guy and take it apart. Um, this was just, uh, if you recall, this is the ship we used to build our structure. Uh, kind of to, to do the um, pockmarks in our asteroid station. And uh, we'll just leave the uh, we'll leave the power on it, some of it anyway. And maybe the thrusters as well, just so we've got some some get up and go. And we'll go retrieve the mining hulk. This didn't turn out so bad after all. All right, I'm gonna go retrieve the mining hulk and get back to uh, get back to building. Okay, so we definitely are going to need a way to defend ourselves from the pirates. <laughs> uh, preferably one that does not require... Why is that different? Is that damaged? That might be why it's different. Uh, preferably we need a way that does not require... Um, uh, action. <laughs> you know, like a, like a turret is what I'm, is where I'm getting at with this. So let's build a turret. I think we'll put it right there. That seems like a decent place to put one. Um, we'll have to put several turrets on this station to make sure that we've got what we want from this. Um, to start off, we just kind of want a flat-ish area. You know, it doesn't have to uh, be super flat because we're going to fill in the gaps, of course. Um, with, uh, with gray hull. I always like to start with gray hull and, and kind of work from there. So I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking circular. I'm thinking five, uh, along one edge. 
So if we start it here and we go one, two, three, four, five, and then I would go one, two, like that, one, one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, and then we go one, two, three, four, five. All right, and then we go one, two, and then there's our circle. Uh, so that's pretty big, actually. Uh, but that'll be cool. That'll be good. That's exactly what we need. So let's uh, let me build out. Let me build out a turret base here real quick, and maybe we'll go ahead and kind of dock a turret to it. Um, and we'll get an idea, at least, of, uh, of the shape of the thing. Okay, so we ended up with a smaller circle. I, uh, I just felt like that other turret was just far too large, but I, I like the way this looks. This works a little bit better uh, for us. So here's what we've got. Uh, now the next bit is to make the, uh, the base of the turret. So that's uh, going to be our next step. I think I have all the parts on me. Yeah, I do. So we need to hop out over here a little bit closer, a little bit closer now. And this is this is pretty straightforward. If you've never made a turret before, uh, you basically just make a ship. We're gonna call this turret. We're gonna call this cart turret base one. Can I? I need an R in cart, uh, short for Cartagena. All right, so let's hop in this bad boy. Now, uh, we are in flight mode, and we need to be in build mode. Uh, you So there's a turret docker on the base here, and we need just a regular like rail docker on the actual turret uh, part. So that's going to go here, and make sure they match. Now we can go back into uh, flight mode and go ahead. We can go ahead and dock it. Okay, cool. Now we can build it to kind of suit the uh, the shape of this platform. Uh, so actually, let's let's do this. I want to change this up. Uh huh. Already, we're already gonna change it up. So let's undock. And let's actually put the docking unit on the bottom. Let's see. I think it's going to face the same way. Yeah. And I keep hopping out instead of switching modes. Whoops. Okay, there we go. I think that's more in line with kind of what we want there. All right, so now uh, we're going to need another turret docker. So the way this works is this guy rotates this way, and then we have another axis that lets it rotate this way. Yep, so that's, uh, and that's how turrets work, essentially. Um, so we need another turret uh, docker. Let's attach it with gray hull. We'll just build in gray for now, because that's how I roll. And uh, I don't think I actually have any power yet. <laughs> uh, so that's going to be kind of interesting. I figure we just, uh, we just make it square with the base and if we need to remove some blocks we can do that as well which in fact we definitely will need to uh, but for now we'll go ahead and do the outline of it like this and then we can remove these guys now that we can't move obviously because that's the ship core that's okay that's not gonna interfere with our uh, kind of axis of motion so all right, so the turret docker is going to go like that, just like that. That's all we need out of it. And so let's go ahead and put in some wedges and clean up. I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera, though, because this part is kind of dull. All right, uh, here's my turret. Nothing special. 
Um, it's just made out of hull. I mean, our our uh, our station is invincible, and anything docked to it is as well. So you can't actually hurt it. Um, but it works, um, and it's a little bit of a turret. Uh, she doesn't really have that great of a range of motion. Uh, whoops, but uh, whatever. There she is. She just reset. Um, and it's waiting for enemy ships. So that's cool. I would have liked to get a little bit more motion out of her. Um, not really sure how I could have accomplished that to be... Well, if I moved this cannon computer elsewhere, that could do it. I think that's our limiting factor. This is hitting against this guy. Uh, we could... Uh, we could maybe put a wedge here. I don't know. It's fine. This turret is fine for now. I'll probably end up redesigning it. Um, after we get attacked and I find out how crappy of a design this turret is. <laughs> I may have to, uh, have to go with that larger turret after all. <laughs> uh, but we'll give this one a shot for now. Um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. Uh, in the next one, we're gonna be working on... Uh, probably will build a factory. Um, I want to get started on a new mining ship. Um, since that one got damaged, we're going to have to work on that some. But I need a factory first, so we'll probably put a factory in um, this, in the asteroid. Um, I've got a little bit of a design for hallways going. Uh, but I'm not sure I really like it yet, so, but we'll check it out in the next episode. Thanks for tuning in.